Hello. Hello and welcome to Tokyo. That behind me is Moss Burger and today I'm going to be taking you to, uh, I'm inviting you to join me for lunch as I'm going to try a really unique dish that is true to my heart as an American, macaroni and cheese, but this time they put it on a burger. Not just any burger, a Moss Burger, a Japanese burger. And um, here, here's the poster for it. What was interesting to me about this was that 88% of Japanese have never tried or have ever heard of macaroni and cheese. That's pretty crazy, right? So I've actually already gotten the burger. It takes a little while to get it in, in Moss Burger, but I'm sitting outside, which is a little bit safer for all of us. Welcome to Moss Burger. All right. How you doing? Check this out, okay? This is pretty crazy. Um, I kind of tried to pick it up and it got all smashed up in there. But this would be Japanese macaroni and cheese. And I've never seen this in Japan, ever. It's not in any of the stores. Uh, macaroni and cheese is a completely unknown food. And when I came to Japan 20 years ago, 23 years ago in 1998, cheese in general was something that you couldn't find. I, I was searching everywhere um, for cheese for pizza, for example, and all you could get were these really little teeny bags of processed cheese, which people would use on gratin or on to grill on toast, but nobody was making their own pizza, which made like Domino's Pizza and other, and Pizza La, some of the chains, really unique and really expensive because you just couldn't get a hold of, of cheese the same way that you could in the United States or in, in other countries. Um, so over the last 23 years that I've lived in Japan, I've seen more and more cheese aisles appear in Japan, which is crazy, right? Like the cheese aisle in, in the in Japanese supermarkets 20 years ago was probably like, just next to the, maybe next to the dairy products, it was really small. Now it's massive, really bigger than it was because from zero, anything above that is a lot bigger. You have choices, which I never really had before. This is really unique because like I never expected this from Moss Burger or any burger for that matter. So let's let's look inside and, and expect in, inspect this macaroni and cheese. Wow, um, I don't know if, this looks like the Velveeta orange cheese kind, which I'm kind of excited about because who doesn't like that? So we're gonna give this a try. And I did, by the way, buy some for Kanai and I'm gonna be taking that back to her. So this isn't gonna be a very long stream. But it's gonna be a happy stream because we have cheese and cheese is, is good. Cheese is very good. All right, let's check this out here. If you do have some questions, definitely save it until the end because I, I have some answers. Tasty Chronicles is here. How you doing, Sonny? If the mac and cheese burger doesn't work out, here's a little something towards a different burger. I'm looking at the menu here. The, the Toby Kitty burger looks pretty good too. Actually, I got Kanai a mac and cheese burger and a normal spicy uh, moss burger. So whatever, whatever works out, with, if this doesn't work out, I, I, got, I got it covered. Thank you, Sonny. All right. I'm kind of excited about this. Um, all right, just to explain what was on the other side here. Um, there's a croque, which is a deep fried patty. It's it's not meat. I'm not sure what it is. Croque can be lots of different kinds of things. Is it meat? Is it potato? Is it vegetables? I see that they put in some sort of salsa on there, which is really good. I don't know what it is, Jonathan. It could be potato. That's the mystery. That's the beauty of this. Koroke is a mystery, which could be troubling for some vegetarians. All right, you know what? Just stop talking, John. Let's get right into it. That's really good. I've always liked the bread from Moss Burger. The bun is, is I mean, it, it's, it's better than the McDonald's buns, all right? Um, it's got some spring to it and some volume to it. It's not just like air puffed. 
it's a pretty good bun. Nobody cares about the bun. The macaroni and cheese is is that umami. There's something about the cheese in the macaroni and cheese that's really, really good. It's like melted, really melted saltiness inside of it. Um, the macaroni gives it almost like a mochi mochi taste. There's a springiness in the mouth that I get with mochi. It, 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 it gives you some tension when you bite into it. With the, with the cheese, it's awesome. The karaoke is crunchy. It's right out of the deep fryer. I, I, I should be showing you the burger as I talk about it. The karaoke is right out of the deep fryer, so there's a crunchiness to it. Um, I think that's potato. I don't, I don't get a meatiness of it. I don't think you need meat with this. I think meat would just mess it up. Um, I love the way that they put the lettuce underneath the croquet so it doesn't um, get the bun all, all uh, spongy, right? Or um, soggy. That's so good. That's really good. I'm just, I'm gonna just try the mac and cheese, like a Neanderthal. Oh, what they've done is put some of that Moss Burger sauce on top of it. That's what that salsa sauce was. There's like a tomato, um, maybe minced meat inside of there, like a tomato sauce. That's really, really, gives it like a little bit of a, a sweetie tang to it. You know, like a, like there's a little bit of acidic, a tinge to it that is very pleasing, right? It all kind of mixes in your mouth, but it's that crunchiness of the karaoke which totally brings it together. It would just be a soggy mess if there wasn't some sort of crunchiness. That is awesome. Um, the one thing with Moss Burger that I love is that you can take the fries and you can dip it in to like the little packet that they have. It keeps everything in. Oh, that's so good. Across Macross writes in here, which do you like better from Moss Burger? This or the triple meat burger? Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna say that this is better. The triple meat burger was unique. All right. This is just good. This is just really, really good. There was too much meat for me. I think that burger is just a special burger that's unique. It's just different, I guess. I, I never had anything like that before. But it, it, it wasn't something I would, I would want to order again. This I would order again and again and again. This is almost addictive because of the crunch. That's a potato croquet. That's a potato croquet. Sorry to show you the guts of my burger here. That's so good. Yeah, that deep fried crunchiness. This is this is what makes it perfect. It's the croquet. All right, the mac and cheese is good. There's nothing bad. It's, it's like Joey at Thanksgiving talking about Rachel's trifle. Remember that? It's like, it's all good. Bun, good. Macaroni and cheese, good. Croque, good. Lettuce, good. Sauce, good. It's all good. I like the choice of, um, hey, Jennifer French. I love the choice of the potato croque. Now they could have put in a meat patty. They could have put in like different vegetables in it. They kept it just straight on potato, like a potato patty, like mashed potato patty, um, breaded and then deep fried. And why this works is like, did you ever have French fries with cheese on top of it? It's so good, right? Well, this, the, the French fries have already been mashed up and there's a crunchiness to the fries beyond what you would get with normal french fries, okay? That's the karaoke, the breaded, breadedness of it. That's what brings this burger all together. And I, I guess you would call it a burger, right? If you like cheese and you like burgers, but maybe you wanna try something that, that's less meat, I, 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 I'm guessing that there's some meat in here. The, the, to, the tomato sauce here has some meat in it, I think. Maybe you can ask for non-meat. Mm. But that has a really good, yeah, 
there's some meat in here, so it's not a, a meatless burger. They do actually have that in there. But it has a lot less meat in it. And if you're looking for something like this, this is the perfect burger. I'm, look at how sloppy that is. I love that. The chomp writes in, genius. You better believe it's genius. Look at the, look at the sloppiness of the Moss Burger without the, the, envelope, the um, catcher envelope. It's awesome. Wow. There's the macaroni in there. Do you see? Like a little macaroni shell. That bite was all sauce and macaroni, and that's so good. Oh my gosh, that meat sauce with cheese. This might very well... This is the best burger of the year for me so far. I'm kind of sh shocked. I didn't think it was going to be this good. It's it, The fact that it's a sloppy mess, it makes this, makes this perfect. Mm. Oh man. That that croque is like a hash brown. It's a better cooked Jap it's like a better cooked McDonald's hash brown. Alright, let me show you on the other side here. It's like a better cooked um McDonald's hash brown, alright? The potatoes are better. You can you can just tell there's a creaminess to it. There's a creaminess to the koroke that's different than a McDonald's hash brown. Instead of the hash browns, is like just kind of chopped up potatoes. This has like been mashed potato fried, deep fried. Oh man, I'm gonna have to order another one. I don't think, I, I'm gonna need another one. There's no way I can just not get another one. I, I'm not gonna eat kanais. She's gonna have to enjoy this. <clears throat> Don't look at me. Look at the sloppy mess that's in this envelope here. Macaroni and cheese and sauce. Oh, look at that macaroni and cheese on a, on a potato. Oh my gosh. Hey, Christopher Miller's here. Hi, John, I hope you're doing well. Love your food vids. You love food as much as I do. You better believe it. That means you really love your food. Thanks, Christopher. The Chempag... Pagnesumo. Pagnesumo. I completely, probably got that completely wrong. Off topic, but have you done the Kabuki themed episode? Not yet, but Kabuki is, um, the, the pandemic makes it really, really, just, just look at this. Just hurry up and just look at this. Just look at this before it falls. Look at this. Look at it. This is macaroni and cheese stuck into a french fry. This is a thing of beauty. This is what you click the like button for, all right? Just do it, do it, do it. Did you see that? The macaroni and cheese just like solidified onto that french fry. And when I took a bite into it, it just melted. I'm, I'm literally so excited about this. As you can tell in my voice. Um, this is oolong tea. And I always get this instead of Coca-Cola at fast food places. Um, if they have um, just carbonated water, I'll sometimes just get that with lemon. I don't like the sugars too much. I, I think that that kind of takes away from the burger. Oolong tea is really good and it's good for digestion. And this is one of the things that people eat. They say it kind of um, keeps them thin by eating that. <coughs> the most burgers, um, Claim to fame is their spicy moss burger. Massive chunk of tomato in there. Um, lots of vegetables, it's really good. This was used to be the premium uh, burger chain. But there was a burger boom about, I don't know, it started about 10 years ago. And these luxury premium burgers came in into the, the city of Tokyo and a lot of them cost like $20. Um, some of the chains from New York and from California came here, like Bear Burger, which is one from uh, uh, New York City. Um, there's some, uh, 
uh, chains from, from California that came, Umami Burger, which is actually a uh, Japanese name, Umami, but uh, comes from California, is here. So um, the, the burger industry here is, is uh, growing, but the thing is, burgers are not that popular in Japan, to be honest with you. Um, McDonald's, which is another burger I'm gonna be trying, um, if, if I can, in the next couple of days with Kanai, they have a rice burger. But the reason why they have this rice burger is very interesting. Uh, a lot of the Japanese don't want to have bread uh, for dinner. They want to have rice. And there are many situations, many times where Kanai has um, told me, like, I don't want to eat bread. I want, I really, no, she, she doesn't say that. She says, I want, I just want some rice. Like, there's some sort of um, innate desire for rice in with a lot of people in Japan. So McDonald's picked up on this and they made the rice burger. So you can get your burger but instead of bread, it has rice. It's called a Gohan burger, I think, and, and they're quite good. And they change up the flavors or the taste of it, but you can only get it after 5 p.m. It's a way of a, of a national chain. Kanai hates it when I do this, but like, I. You gotta do it once, okay? Even if it's on camera. Kanai hates it when I do that. You stick your face in the envelope. Jason, tell me you do that, man. Ronald, you, I know you guys do that. I know some people do this. I, I do have alcohol wipes, so don't, don't worry. Like, I was licking my fingers, but I, I completely sanitized, don't worry. Yeah, you get, like, look, let's be honest. We're all friends here, all right? Just stick your face in that envelope of sauce. Just get it all over. That was pretty tame for me too. And when I do that, I, I get my tongue. Sometimes I'll, I'll lick, I'll just lick it with my tongue like a dog and Kanai gets really upset a little bit. I say a little bit, but she's like, like, what are you doing? Like, I can't take you out anywhere. He's like, you dang right you can't because I, I would do that at a restaurant. Holly writes in here, go wild. Oh yeah, I go wild. John Kimon is in the house, thank you, John. Nice, nice to see you here with me. That's awesome. Um, actually, John, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna. This stuff that I bring back is, is uh, I'm gonna say it comes from John Kimura. How about that? Um, our friend John. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was really good. I'm somebody. I'm always looking for the burnt one. All right, admit it, okay? When you were a kid and you got the, the really thin McDonald's french fries, these are too thick. Who else did this, right? You took one of the, the crispy french fries, you put it a little bit of ketchup on it, and you go, look, mom, it's a match. Who else did that? I, I know that there's somebody who did that. You put a little ketchup on it, look, it's a match. <laughs> I used to do that. You can't light it. Nosh goes, uh, no. Come on, man. Nobody? I got, oh, the burnt fry was really popular. Plankton writes in, uh, Plankton writes in no. No. Oh, Cat Hilton, my best friend. Thank you, Cat. There's one. There's only one. There's always just one. It's me and Cat, okay? Folks, that was the best burger of the year for me. I could eat, I could eat like a dozen of those. No, I, no, I can't, no, I can't. Jennifer says, get some dessert. All right, you know what? I can't do it here though. <clears throat> Actually, Moss Burger on the other side is bustling. You see them on the other side? They're bustling. All right, I want you to stay here. I'm gonna go take the tray back. Stay right here, guys. Don't go anywhere.
All right. That was so good. I am a happy man. Look at that kid. He really likes that chicken. So, this is what I'm talking about right here. And this piqued my curiosity. Could they do mac and cheese good? It says here 88% of Japanese have never tried or don't know what macaroni and cheese is. It's called in Japanese, not macaroni and cheese. It's actually called mac and cheese. Mac, mac, mac and cheese, mac and cheese. <laughs> That's really cool. Mac and cheese. <laughs> mac and cheese karaoke. Could Japanese mac and cheese be any good? You dang right it is. It is really good. And just to, just to sum it up, you can see there's the uh, Mossberger sauce underneath that cheesy Velveeta. I don't know, that's just a brand name, but that orange cheese with clamshelled macaroni. Oh, really good with that crispy croque, potato croque. Hey, they got an extra slice of lettuce. That's not fair. My lettuce did not have that much. And tasty, tasty chronicles, you can see. Uh, oh, there's the the Gohan burger with rice. Some people just want rice, so that's available too. <coughs> How many calories? I don't know, like a lot. So um, I'm gonna walk to a vending machine and get a drink, I think, and then we're gonna call it because I gotta go. I gotta take. Actually, my bicycle's right there, but I think there's a vending machine we can get something right right in front here. Um, yeah, it's a lot of calories, probably. I'm not really thinking about that. I'm more or less thinking about... Boy, this is good. Oh, they're appealing to me. Get tasty beverages here. Okay. Well, let's see what you got first. No... No, 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 no. It's not that tasty. What's in the Coca-Cola machines these days? Oh, the premium cafe latte. Uh, cafe au lait. What's the difference between a cafe au lait and a cafe latte? I don't know. It just sounds more... Sounds and if you like volume, these craftsman copies are good. But I, I think I'm just gonna go with this cafe au lait. Don't know what that is. All right, let's get this. That one's way, way, way too, way too sweet. Cafe au lait. Ah, nice and warm. It's a premium. The premium. Interesting. It expires in September. Or is it June? No, September. I don't, I don't know what's premium about this. It tastes normal. <sighs> Slight bitterness to it. Super sweet like the Max coffee I showed you in the yellow can. But there is a, a, a tinge of bitterness that is pleasing. It's not bad. The creaminess of it is really good. It tastes like fresh cream. I think you have to swish it once and spit it out, but that would be not good in Tokyo. What is that? What the heck? 
Oh, it's like a dental implant place. What? I saw like nasty stuff getting on top of a tooth. Ugh. Wow, that dude's lost all his tooth. It's pretty nasty right after eating. I promised to brush. That was very good. Brought to you by Super Chats. Thank you, guys. Remember to brush your teeth. I'm going to stay away from some people now and stay outside. I'm going to do my best to stay outside and to stay safe. I got to get this to Kanai. Can't drink now. Just recycle. I love how I love how they have the recycle bins right next to the uh, machines, right? It's pretty good pretty good all right everybody if you have a question let me get between here the machines here if you have a question let me know in the comments below um new episode is coming really soon and i'm, I'm finishing up the kickstarter fireworks video uh, that's been a lot of fun to put together it's over 30 minutes long and uh i'm just waiting a lot of people are getting their packages by the way if you're a kickstarter backer you're probably getting your packages this week in the united states um they've arrived in michigan in california in new york yesterday so just just hang on a little bit longer um if if you haven't gotten your package yet um you can send me a message uh on uh which is in the update um gosh what else is going on um i, I have a couple of of jobs coming up in march but not too much in february because of the pandemic um, we are still in a state of emergency but it doesn't mean that i can't travel just it has to be something for work and right now unless it's necessary travel i'm not going anywhere i'm staying right here in the city of tokyo um, I do have some um, uh, suke men to make, and I was going to make it today, but I thought I would do something a little bit quicker and not make a mess in the kitchen. Um, so I, I might do that uh, tomorrow. Suke men is like ramen, but better. It depends. I, I think it could be better. Yeah. <laughs> the kid was looking at me. <laughs> How you doing? All right, everybody. Have a good day and a good night wherever you are in the world. Uh, I got to get these burgers to Kanai before they get all mushy inside. And uh, I'll see you in another live stream real soon. Take care. Nagoya John's in the house. Much love, John. Oh, I dropped some coins. Oh. Oopsie. Oh, no, it's a 100 yen coin. How did that happen? Oh, I dropped more coins. Oh, my wallet was open. Ah! It's a one yen coin. Five yen coin. Whoa, it's like raining money. Nagoya John, buy something nice for Kanai. You got it. Got her bunch of burgers. No, I can't... The bug's still there. I just saw a super chat come in and I can't see it. No! What? I'm so upset at YouTube. There's so many bugs in this app. What was, what was the one before Nagoya John's? Can somebody tell me? I feel bad. I'm so appreciative of, of, of it. John is squinting so hard. If you squint, you can see better, somebody said. Actually, I can see just fine. Moss Burger wa America ya... America ya de... It was Tortoro Porco. Thank you, Tortoro Porco. Porco. Uh, we love you. Tortoro Porco. I'm going... Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to have to go to McD's and ask for them a quarter pounder and substitute hash brown for the patty. I think you might be able to put tortura porco. I think you might be able to put together your own like Moss Burger mac and cheese. Just bring your own mac and cheese. It's, it's possible. Thanks everybody uh, for that. Hit the like button. Uh, air to the Ron as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys, and I appreciate the community teamwork here to to make sure that we all uh, show our appreciation to those that help to support the show because I. Love you all. Have a good day. Thanks, Air to the Rod. Craft macaroni cheese. Yo!